Okay? So come into your hip flexor stretch from here. If we take your right leg, quite a big step back onto the right leg, and you're gonna come onto the ball of the foot. So if you keep the heel lifted, bend down into the back knee, drop it down onto the, the mat, and then I want you to move the line of your hip forward so you start to feel a stretch through your hip flexor. So if everyone stays with this position, if you have any problems with your knee, what you can do with this one instead it's the same position, but hover, so you don't have to actually drop your back knee down. You could just hold this position if you prefer. So just feel it lengthening through the hip flexor. And then from here, start to move the line of the hip back. Keep the back toe hooked under. Lift the knee. Step forward with the back leg. And let's switch sides. Take the left leg back onto the toes, pelvic tilt under slightly, and start to drop down, shuffle the back foot if you need to, moving the line of the hip forward, and starting to feel the stretch through the hip flexor on that back leg. So just breathing into it. On the exhale, just feeling the hip flexor start to lengthen. Once that one's released off, just moving the hip back slightly, toe hooks under, press back up to stand, and then stepping back to the centre, shoulders relaxing down. Okay guys, we'll start lying down for this one. So from this position, I'm just going to get you to fully lie back onto your mat. So roll down through your spine, take your hands out above your head, reach away with the fingertips stretch your way through the toes you're making the body as long as possible lengthen out through the entire body visualize and lengthen in through the vertebrae and from here just slowly start to stretch your hands up and over your head rest your hands down on the mat by your sides And then one knee at a time, just draw your right leg and then your left leg into your chest. Wrap the hands around the knees and just start to roll just lightly from side to side. So you're feeling a release off from any tension in your lower back. If we keep your right knee into your chest, stretch your left leg out onto the mat. Let go of your right knee and just hold it at 90 degree angle with a bend at the knee. Take your left hand to the outside of your right knee. Now draw that leg across the body so you start to feel a twist through your spine. Take your right hand out to the side, fingertips pointing away, palm facing upwards. And just begin to feel that stretch through your spine. So keep a fair bit of pressure on the knee with your left hand. And visualize your right shoulder starting to drop down towards the mat. Let go of the knee, lift it to 90 degrees, keep the bend at the knee, take your 
right hand around the edge of your left knee, draw the knee over the body and place the knee down onto the side. This time your left fingertips extend out to the side, chest is open. And by keeping the pressure on your knee and visualizing your shoulder dropping down, you should feel that stretch across your spine. Lightly releasing the pressure from the knee, roll onto your back. And this time, if you place the soles of the feet onto the mat, quite close in behind the buttocks, palm facing upwards with your hands by your sides, Push down into the soles of the feet, tilt the pelvis under, roll up through the spine, chest lifts and just hold that pelvic bridge so you've got a deep arch through your back. So you're holding this little mini back bend, obviously when you're cycling the shoulders are dropped quite a lot over the bike, so holding this position just to counter stretch through your back. And start with your upper back, just begin to roll down. So upper back first, through to mid, and all the way down to lower. Just take a moment to feel the connection with your spine against the mat. Okay, so I'm going to bring your stretch to your hips. So if we take your right leg and just cross edge of the right foot over your left knee. Okay, now with your hands, if you reach through, lift your left leg up, reach the hands behind the left thigh, rest your head back onto the mat and hold that stretch. So you need to keep a fair bit of pressure on that top leg and we're trying to feel this stretch through the outer thigh and hip of your right leg. And if you start to circle your ankle, so your left ankle, just begin to circle that both directions. So loosening off any stiffness through the ankle. And then to come out, if you lightly release the pressure from that thigh, drop the foot down back to the center and we're going to do the same on the opposite leg. Take your left leg, cross the side of the foot over the right leg, lift, take the palms around the edge of the right thigh, keep some pressure on and start to feel that stretch through the hip, outer thigh of the left leg. Just begin to circle the right ankle few ankle circles here, releasing off any tension. And then to come out, if you just let go of the thigh, place the sole of the foot down onto the mat, straighten your legs out from here and just move it back into that full body stretch. Fingertips reach up above the head. Stretch away through the toes. Make the body as long as possible. And then if you just take your hands up above your head, reach up with the fingertips. And then just lay the hands down by your sides, palm face up. Whichever way feels more comfortable for you. If you just lightly cross the ankles. So cross your legs. Let the knees just fall out to the side. Whichever way comes more naturally to you. Keep the palms facing upwards. Just take a few breaths. Close your eyes. Feel the shoulders relax. And just bring your focus to the breathing. So each time you're breathing in, breathe energy to any areas of time. 
emptiness in the body. And as you're exhaling, feel the body relax and the tension release. Shoulders relax down. 